I'm Keza McDonald, UK Games Editor for IGN, and I'm here with Martin Edmondson, founder of Reflections and creative director on Driver San Francisco. Hello, Martin. Hello there. So we're going to take a look at various points from the first hour of Driver San Francisco, and Martin's going to explain to us what this is all about. Yeah, we're going to play the, the single player here. So this is a bit about the, uh, the story and the discovery of where Shift comes from, how Tanner gains the, the ability to do this. And for those who don't know, Shift is... Uh, Shift is the new feature that we brought to, uh, to Driver. Um, and it's basically the ability for the player to uh, move between or shift between any vehicle that you can find in the city um, rapidly, instantaneously, even when it upgrades from one side of the city to the opposite side of the city with no loading, no delays. So now we're chasing after Jericho in that uh, in that prison truck that he's uh, commandeered. I don't believe this. 40 Adam 30 heading east on Fremont in pursuit of Jericho, requesting backup now. <laughs> Should've listened to you. Damn, I was an asshole. We can argue about who is the bigger asshole after we catch that bastard. Well, we've got a few views. We've got this sort of uh, hood cam here. A standard view as well. Uh, you see the big the, the handling of the game. Driver has always been about the big sort of tail out slides. Big, too much power for the chassis. And anybody who's a fan of the original Driver game, the handling in the original Driver game, should feel there. Uh, Immediately at home, even the pedestrians jumping out of the way there. That's a classic driver uh, driver thing. Uh, we've been in development for four and a half years now, so it's a big, long development. Uh, but a lot of the stuff that we're doing, uh, because we're running the game in 60 frames a second, we're pushing the hardware very, very hard. It's all proprietary tech for the rendering and the physics, so there's a lot of work been involved just in building up that tech. A lot of games would take stuff like that off the shelf, but we can't do that because of what we needed to do with the game. The difference between uh, 60 frames and 30 frames is its just enormous. Um, a, a lot of people think they can't tell, but we have a little software switch in here just to keep reminding ourselves of why it's worth the effort. And when you flick it down to 30, it really does look uh, horrible. You get used to it, of course, because most games run at 30 or even 20 to 30, but uh, it just gives a fluidity to the motion. It just it's like the, the sort of the holy grail really, it just feels so much more responsive and, uh, and obviously just how fluid the motion is of everything in the world. Come on, John. Come back to us, buddy. Charging to 250! John, don't you do this to me. Clear! <laughs> I got, I got no idea how we lived through that. I saw where he went. There's a little hint coming up now as to what's, uh, or a big hint actually, on, man, that's uh, coming up to show you what's really going on here now. All the, all the, uh, these billboards start talking to Tanner now. You all right, man? Yeah, fine. Let's go. Now, the other thing you'll notice is the lighting in the world has changed now. Uh, it's become very sort of uh, soft and orange. So we're now in a whole so different good. situation Set now. We've got to move now. Tanner, we lost him, man. Where are you taking us? I know where he went. Take. Hey, One of the nice things it. we put in. If you hold down the triangle key, you can expand the map and hold it down like that. So it's really useful for um, navigating without having to keep resorting to a, a pause map. You know, a static pause map keeps you in the action basically. You hear that? Hear what? Seriously, man, are you okay? Fine. So we've got the sensor defibrillators exactly. and uh, paramedics in the background here. So that's uh, the first really weird uh, moment for Tanner. Jones? Man, you look like crap. So there's the van. Damn it! He's gone, man. How the hell did he do that? Uh, we gotta... Whoa! Hey, you alright? Steady! That guy's in pretty bad shape back there! Damn it! 
Damn it, Ray! What the hell are you doing? What are you stopping for? Where the hell? I'm in the ambulance. No shit, genius. We got a head trauma in the back, and the ER is that way. Eyes on the city, Ray. Come on, let's go. I'm Ray? So this is the explanation of Shift. Ray. Come on, Ray. Yeah, if you notice there, he has the driver's license of the guy in the back, and it's Tanner. Or Tanner doesn't notice that, but the, but the player has just shown that. So uh, he's now, basically, he's now driving himself to hospital. So now you, that's your first shift. It was an involuntary shift, really, but that has had you now overtaking the, taking over the life of the ambulance driver. It's called stress. Any more dumb questions? Yeah. How the hell did I get here? You see the vehicles driving around. We've got 130 licensed vehicles. First time we've done that in a driver game. All fully destructible. And really interesting vehicles in there as well. As well, a lot of iconic cars from the movies. So obviously, players have had a lot of questions about shift. So. The explanation is that it's happening inside his head? At this point it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's had that accident. The accident's far more, um, far more, you know, severe than, than he thought. He's, uh, he's gradually discovering what this thing is. What's happening to me? Do it again? Do what again? I mean, did I do it, or... Hey! That's my car! Jones? Jones!